bird called the, the witches. I am in, I am in chapter. Um, it's off to work. We go. That evening, my grandmother had a plain omelette, one slice of bread. I had a piece of fat, brown, knowing goat's milk cheese, known as gear dust, which I had loved even when I was a boy. We ate in front of the fire, my grandmother in her armchair, and me on the table with my cheese on the, a small plate. Grandmama, I said, now that we have done away with the Grand High Witch, with all of the other witches in the world gradually disappear, I'm quite sure they won't, she answered. I stopped chewing and stared at her. But they must, I cried, surely. They must. I'm afraid not, she said. But if she's not there any longer, how are they going to get all the money they need? And who is going to give them orders and jazz them up to the annual meetings and event? All them, all their magic formulas for them. When the queen bee dies, there's always an, another queen in their hive, ready to take her place. My grandmother said, "It's the same witch, in which is." In the great headquarters where the Grand Hair Witch lives, there is always another Grand Hair Witch waiting in the wings to take over. Should anything happen? Oh no, I cried. That means everything we did was for nothing. Have I become a mouse for nothing at all? We saved the children of England, she said. I don't call that nothing. I know, I know. I cried, but that's not nearly good enough. I felt sure that all the witches of the world would slowly fade away after we had got rid of their leader. Now you tell me that everything is going to go on just the same as before? Not exactly as before, my grandma said. For instance, there are no longer any witches in England. That's quite a triumph, isn't it? But what about the rest of the world? I cried. What about America and France and Holland and Germany and what about Norway? You must not think I have been sitting back and doing nothing these last few days, he said. I have been giving a great deal of thought and time to that particular problem. I was 